Today we're gonna show you the results of all this hard work that we've been doing the last six months. And I'm really happy, we are really happy to share that with you and I'm sure you'll be happy as well. In the last six months, we've saved 6,500 tons wow. of green waste. We process that and turn it into compost. That's a lot. That means 90% increase in green waste collection. That means we almost doubled the, the amount of green waste that we were collecting before. Wow, and, and I mean, the thing you gotta remember is a lot of that would have otherwise gone to landfill. So you're talking double the green waste, which means at least half of that is not going to landfill, or, but we'll get to those stats. Yeah, so. we'll get there. So the next one, um, to show you how much that will be, to put into in perspective, um, the big marina in Goulburn weighs 97 uh, tons. So in the last <laughs> six months, we've saved approximately 60, 68 big merino statues. 68 of them? 68 of them. Yeah, that's that right. 6,000, yeah. Yeah, that's a lot. So rack them up down Anzac Parade <laughs> and, and think about that as you, as you, or, you know, imagine those along, along the beachfront on Arden Street. You know, that, that, that would sort of be a wonderful celebration if people were trying to get to the beach and they had to park, you know, right up the top near, uh, near, near, the, near the hospital and, and walk down because there's these big marinos. I like that. I think we need to do that. I think we need to put them there. Yeah, so, I think And we say to people, look at what you've done. You know, <laughs> Which this is, is great. Your, your, your work. So um, the next slide shows the content of one truckload of uh, Fogo. So this is basically the first step of uh, the processing of Fogo. The, you can see there's two men there doing the um, removal of contamination. So every week we are saving 13 truckloads of garden and organic waste from going to landfill. And this is what the pile more or less will look like. So again, imagine this pile in Kuji or yeah. Marubra or next to our houses, you know. 13. Per week. 13 truckloads a week. And this is just in the first six months. As this process gets more refined, as, as, as you get more and more habitual, and as that habit becomes culture, as it's just, well, that's what we do in Ramwick. That's what we do as a FOGO community. Then that 13 will only increase. Yeah. Which, you know, I mean, 13 trucks, that's a lot of trucks. Yeah, look at the size of the pile. It's quite impressive, I think. Imagine that every week in the last six months. Oh, yeah. It's a lot. So, um, in terms of red bean content, we reduced the red bean by 26% in only six months. And it's true, because 40% of the red bean used to be food waste, food and garden waste. So there is still room for improvement, but this is huge. 30%, I mean, that, that, that's, that's massive. And, and the kind of, because I've, I've been doing FOGO with Penrith City Council, who, who've been doing it for, for a, while, a long while. I've been doing it with Bega. I've done it with Launcester, lots of different places. And, and the thing that happens is it's always hard to get people on board because you're saying, well, we're actually giving you a smaller bin. And we're get, so we're gonna halve the size of your bin we're going to halve the size of the collection, but what the stats all show that is you'll then only need half of that. So, so do that mathematics: half of a half um, pickup um, and half as full, even less. So suddenly you change this consciousness to then being able to separate all the other things and ask more questions about what's in the bin because there's not smell and you're happy to look in there and say well that can go here that can go there who's buying all these things in this let's change the way we do this so it opens up some some great opportunity yeah 30 percent um, that's well done seriously well done everyone it, it's and, and as alex says that there, there's room to move yeah there's room to move so that means um we reduce the landfill greenhouse gas emissions by 6,600 tons of uh, CO2 in like this is equivalent to 1,300 passenger vehicles driven 
per year, per one year, or 25 million kilometers driven uh, by what, one single vehicle. That's a lot of fuel too. It's a lot. It's unbelievable. Like in six months, because like we think our industry is small, but if you look in a group, in the community, look at the results. You know, they're quite amazing. And in terms of compost production, that's 4,000 tons of compost that we can produce approximately with those uh, 6,000 tons. 4,000 tons of compost. How much is that? Ah, that's it's, a lot. It's a lot, isn't it? And, and, but, but, but the point is, it's not only not in landfill, that compost can then be used to feed soil. It can be used to top dress parks and ovals and grow better street trees and better cooling shade canopy for the entire city of Randwick and the suburbs of Randwick, which then reduces energy use and keeps the city cooler. If the, if the suburbs cooler, then you don't need to use your air conditioning, which means you save money. So then we double down on what the value of this is. And it's not just our council, no, it's us and, and our lives. So, so you can kind of say, those big stats that Alex is talking about, greenhouse gas emissions, um, big picture, but the big picture all funnels down yeah. <laughs> to there. So um, oh. we've had 1.5% contamination. That means only 1.5% of everything that's in the bin is contamination. It's something that shouldn't be there. So that's really low because in this industry, anything below 3% deserves an applause. So, big round of applause for all of you guys. Doing a photo there. <laughs> uh, tap on your back. Actually, you know, you know what? I, I think <laughs> I, uh, I, have a, uh, I have an award. Ah. Yeah, I have an award. I, I, I think you, you seriously, because that 1.5%, I, I, I think that's just the start. You know, I'm not gonna go overboard here but we are going to give you the Fogo Lee, the, 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 the Fogo Logie to, to all of you for, um, for getting it down to 1.5%, but don't rest there because that is one of the biggest national problems with Fogo is contamination. It's because people just go, oh, one plastic bag doesn't matter. Or they put all their food scraps into a plastic bag and realize that that contaminates an entire truck and someone has to be there and pick it out. And then when you get that compost on a farm or somewhere and it's got small pieces of plastic in it, we get it out upstream here. You can't have 50 people at the collection point picking out the waste. It becomes totally, totally uh, cost ineffective. We are the eyes and ears. Your children are the eyes on the compost. And when we can get the contamination rates down to zero, yeah. that's what we want. Yeah, because it comes back to us, right? Because the compost will be used in farms to produce more food. And then if there's plastic there, we don't want that. No, exactly. So that's great. I mean, it's great, but we, we, can, we can just incrementally be the keepers of the compost and make sure each week before it goes out, Someone hasn't put the wrong thing in there. And it's a great job for the kids to be FOGO detectives and get out there with their FOGO, FOGO goggles the night before and during the week and just make sure that there's not something snuck in there and check this bin, just check that all those things are okay. And that way, that way, you know, the quality of that compost is first class and people won't go, eh, I don't really want to bring that onto my, I wouldn't want to bring that onto my farm if I'm going to have plastic blowing through. So, so well done. This is, this is epic, epic numbers.